morning everyone welcome back to my channel it's me Zaylee Carrington and today is my first how-to wow this is a how to get sleekly straightened hair and as you can see she's sleek she's sleek and yes I wanted to do this tutorial because I had been asked by my friends and I thought let me do this for the girls. Let me do this for the girls. Yeah. Let me do this for the girls. And I've got uni, so it worked out because I need to do my hair for uni anyway. But you can see the sleekness. Um, I do hope you enjoy this tutorial. Let me know if you want any more tutorials. So this is how I woke up. This is how I woke up. I didn't wear a bonnet. I just wore a headscarf. And my hair's in a bun. And then, for obvious reasons, the band on the front. Okay, so I would recommend the Remington Y Plate Straighteners. Then you'd also need a mousse of your choice. I'm using olive oil, it's okay. A brush, I 10 out of 10 recommend the denim brushes. They are elite. A spoolie for your edges, clips and serum. The serum I'm using is in French, but I will try to find it in English and insert it in the video for you. I then begin to part my hair into two and add section clips just so I can brush my hair and it makes it easier when you work into parts rather than brushing all at once and always start with the ends so you get the knots out from the bottom then the top you don't want to ruin your hair and drag out your expensive expensive bundles like come on I then literally add the mini schoolers drop off serum literally one and a little goes a long way especially with European hair you do not want to oversaturate with grease so with the one drop of serum I rubbed it into my palm and my fingers to help assist applying the serum through the hair and make sure you get those ends once again you do not want dry crispy and tangly ends it will ruin the look of the slinkness of your hair and so once again we need to part it when straightening your hair you need like you literally literally need to work in small sections to ensure that the flat iron can literally iron out any bends or imperfections and i just use my trusty denim brush to assist the straightening through i recommend this once again as it gets up the knots and ugh, listen you can see how good that looks already like do not even try to deny it <laughs> I usually would go over the hair about three to four times just to really ensure and reinforce that the hair is sleek and straight and that I haven't missed any bends or kinks. And once I straighten the first section, I then do brush the second section into the first section and straight them together. Um, I hope that makes sense, but I am showing it so you can get it visually if you can't get it voicely if that's even a word and in this clip here you would see that i do go over the top of the hair quite a few times and this is because you do not want a bend at the top of your hair and you want to make sure that the roots are flat the roots and the ends they are crucial do not skip out on them when i do the frontal i tend to isolate the bundles and the frontal and just work on the frontal how many times would i say frontal lol and I also straighten my hair slowly. I don't try to pass it through fast because I feel like when you do it slower, it really, really, really does flatten it and get the look you want. So now I'm just going in with my M's Parlor back stick on the top of my head and the perimeter. And this right here is Mad Ghetto. My hot comb is broken. So a trick is to use your straightener and it works like magic. And you can see the shine from the wax stick and the straightener on the top. It makes a difference. Okay, and now we have super sleek, luscious locks versus bed hair. You can see the difference and the effort and note how the literal one drop of the serum went a long way. The shine, the shine is shining. The shine is absolutely 100 million, 10 percent, thousand percent shining. Straighten, sleek, serum and rough flipping heat. We go again. Let's, <laughs> let's do it. A tip that I would recommend to keep your hair straightened throughout the day is to ensure that it doesn't get stuck or tucked to any of your clothes, covens, bags, whatever, as it will bend and tangle and tarnish your sneakers of your hard work that you spent your long morning doing when you could have had extra time sleep. One thing about me I always do is go over my ends, and my mum taught me this like literally years ago. You do not want to forget them out, it's literally vital. When I see people in public and their ends are done, it's cringe me like <laughs> sorry it's just, i just hate it so i just make it like imperative that they're done really really well and it just you know it's busting do you know what i mean 
So I taught my friend Raya to this trick literally like last week. You get a section from the back of your hair and you straighten it upwards. And this really ensures that the back of your hair is not wavy. I hate when before I straighten my hair and the sides are so good and the back was still crimply, bed hair. It's not a mood, I'm not here for it. No, 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 do that and you'll literally never experience that ever again. So circling back, literally using that one drop of serum and the wax, it goes a long way. The sleek and the shine is doing what it has to do. Then I just get another clip and clip my hair out of my face so I can get on with the edges. And when I do my edges, I just tend to follow what Mary initially done when I get my hair done. And I don't do anything too crazy as I don't like to really ruin or alter the shape of my edges because I'm not that good at doing it anyway. Um, I like my hair to look like a fresh install each and every time. This is about 10 days after installing the hair and it looks brand spanking new. Straightening your hair is literally about time and effort. So this is what I usually do when I'm going out out rather than like a quick day. And is it just me that also finds that doing the edge by the ear really awkward? Like, I don't know. And I just did that there. I always re-straighten to touch up and I'm gonna redo it here again once I brush up my hair. Just to really, 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 really make sure I miss nothing. It's absolutely giving black, bust down, middle part. It looks jet black, but I tell you, it was a 1B. It was a 1B, like, it's really, really, really giving. And it looks so straight, so sleek. The whole day of uni, people were like, wow, your hair looks brand new, it looks like a new install. It's because I did my long and effortful <laughs> I'm just rambling at this point, what the hell? Okay guys, so this is the final look. She's sleek, she's sleek, and I only used two pumps of this thing. Um, it is from France, but I will see if I can get the link. And parlor and mousse these three ingredients and investing in a good straightener will get you a long way but i hope you enjoy the tutorial guys thank you for watching 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 please do like comment subscribe and let me know how well it goes with the straightening because girls we need straight hair we don't want bends in our hair we want all day long lasting straight hair and in my vlog that i posted before this i showed that i went out and partied got my hair messed up and she was still straight so follow this tutorial and you have a sleekly straightened hair but i have to get finished getting ready for uni pack my lunch put some trousers on eat breakfast but thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my new or next video. Bye. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>